Good morning everyone! Today we're going to Comaro. So before we arrive, I would like to talk a little about the history of the two city action. So after World War I in 1920, the Treaty of Trianon split the city in two because the borders of Czechoslovakia were determined by the Danube. In 1938, the northern part of the city was returned to Hungary, but at the end of World War II, the city was again divided by two between Hungary and Czechoslovakia. Komarno is now a city in Slovakia on the northern bank of the Danube, and Komarom stayed a part of Hungary. The two city is now connected with three bridges, so today we can easily visit the city in Slovakia as well without any border control because of Schengen. That's about it and now the train started to be shaky so I will stop this part. See you there. That's our next stop, which is... Brigetio. Brigetio. It's Roman. Besoka Centrum. Nice. Brigitio was the name of this place in the time of the Roman Empire. The main part of this place was the so-called Legio camp and another very important part was the soldier city. In this exhibition you can learn more about this place and about this period of time but it's not only about the history of Brigetio, but on the first floor you can learn more about the what was that the ship naval the, the naval history on the danube and on the second floor there's another exhibition but i don't remember the name but we will see it later and what's really important is that you can visit this exhibition for free so it's always a plus and it's perfect for when the weather is terrible outside you can also play with some puzzle which is perfect for the boyfriends so win-win situation what's great is that even though that is in only in hungarian you can always read the main informations here in english as well like you see there's the main and there's the english so at least you know the basic information. Let's see what the third exhibition is, because I have no idea. 
it's again about Brigitte and what they found. The air conditioning is pretty loud. Yeah, but the temperature is beautiful. Yes. So this was the Brigitte visitor center. And now we're off to one of the fortresses. Plans changed. I forgot about. We're going to check out the lake. What's the name of the lake? Rudiger Lake. Yeah. Like the footballer. Oh. For those who know. I don't know. I guess probably don't. Yeah. It's not much to do here. But it's very peaceful. But it's really peaceful. Now we're about to go to the Star Fortress when someone finally starts to move. Protection. Terrible. Oh my god. I feel the heat. There's no one. Just us and the heat. of the Star Fortress we don't think we're going to visit the entrance is 3,000 forints which is not really cheap and it's around 9 euros yeah it's about 9 euros and this place is one of the three main fortresses of Comarum um, inside the building you can see the Museum of Fine Arts exhibition of the Flesser Cast collection which means that there are many replicates of very famous statues and I think that's about it but we decided not to go in 200 meters and we arrived at KFC oh. <laughs> it's a bridge. Bridges are cool, you heard it. Right now we're in the Europe 
place. The Europe place in Comano belongs to the modern monuments in the Danube region. It's an unusual collection of buildings typical of many European nations. Every single house on the Europe place represents one of the 36 countries and regions. Boyfriend's favorite drink of all time, fake coke. I forgot to film an outdoor session for the video, so to make a short summary, Komarum is really worth a visit if you spend more time in Hungary. Komarum and Komarno has a very long and interesting history, so if you're interested in these type of things, then that's really a good idea to visit this two city. But please don't visit it when it's more than 30 degrees outside because it's burning hot out there except if you can handle it well you can check out my other videos of this series there are so many great places that we've visited so far in hungary so now you have a whole collection to choose from and more will come in the future i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you did please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because we're going to travel around hungary so many more times and i hope that you will follow me along so see you in the next one Bye!